Hello again, it's Mr. IT Stuff back in the workshop with this uh, 3D printed sound box that I've been experimenting with. Now, in my previous videos, uh, many of you have commented that the uh, diaphragm material that I'm using isn't the best. Now, this is just um, PLA that um, is a normal sort of plastic that I 3D print with. And I've experimented with uh, one millimeter thick diaphragms and this one's a 0.4 millimeter thick and it works reasonably well. However, there are other uh, materials that I can use. And what I'm gonna do is try various different materials. And um, I'm actually gonna split this up into at least a couple of videos. This video is going to be the uh, plastics video. So I have some polystyrene. This is from uh, an old um, CD jewel case. And uh, I also have um, a piece of uh, HDPE, which is from an old milk bottle. So I'm going to compare these three together and uh, see which sounds the best. And then um, I'm going to repeat in my uh, next video, but uh, using three different sorts of metal. I also have a, a mica diaphragm on order, which I will then use to compare with the, uh, the best out of the plastics and the metals. I just wanted to very quickly cover off the uh, test records that I'm using. Now this one here I've used several times before and it's a uh, Bonnie Dundee. I think I referred to it first as Donnie Dundee, I misread the label. And it's an old acoustic recording from about 1920, although this actual pressing must be uh, 1926 or later due to the style of the label. And um, it's a record that Google doesn't recognise which makes it quite suitable. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's not the most interesting record going. So um, if I accidentally damage it as part of my tests, it's not going to be a great loss to the world. I thought that it might be nice to try an electrically recorded record as well. So in the same pile that um, I got that one in, and I showed that in a, in a video a few weeks ago, I found this one. And um, this is uh, from 1930. It's an electrical recorded record. So it's uh, made use of uh, a microphone and like a valve amplifier. And um, it's uh, likely to be louder, clearer, um, and have more uh, sort of frequencies in it than, uh, than the, the standard acoustic recorded record uh, from previous years. So um, I'm going to use this record as well. Fortunately, Google doesn't recognize this one either. Um, and uh, it's a bit more interesting to listen to, to be honest. Many cavalier who are born around me 
Edison Bell Winner don't seem to have marked their electrical recordings as such, but by the time this record was made, they had been making electrical recordings for around four years, so it probably is one. Well, there wasn't as much difference as I expected. I couldn't really tell any difference between the PLA and the HDPE. There definitely is something different with the polystyrene one though. It might be something to do with the weight or thickness of the diaphragm. The polystyrene one is thicker, but I tightened up the screws the same amount, so it would have been held tighter by the gaskets. So what do you think? Which one do you think is best? Well I'm going to try some metal diaphragms next, but I'd be very interested to know what you think of the plastic ones. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. Stuff. Thank you.